Morning of day four. Today we have about 10 kilometers before we hit the waterfall. Our first real portage of the trip. Now there's an old Montagne Inu route that goes from Lac Marcon to the coast, but looking at the maps it seems impossible. And if you realize how tough the portaging is from Lac Marcon and that they did that instead of the route we're going on, you really question what the hell we're getting ourselves into. One of the things that's good to bring when you're in the middle of the bush, I like to bring a shotgun because it's very versatile. I have a homemade dry bag here and I melted it together and I made a roll top with Velcro and that I put inside my floating gun case. That'll keep your gun above water, which is always good. And it'll also keep it dry even if it's submersed for a decent period of time. So these are high velocity rifled slugs. One big hunk of lead. Now it's not very accurate, but from close distance, this is probably the best thing to use against a bear that if it charges you, which is very unlikely by the way, you wanna be safe with it or this is potentially more dangerous than a bear. So let me show you how what I do, okay? I put one in the chamber, I close the action part way, two in the magazine. So that way if I wanna use the gun, it's two steps, close the action, safety off, and boom, fire. And that's how I leave it in my tent at night. That's how I leave it inside my gun case during the day. And this I just clip to the thwart of the canoe so I don't lose it. All right, let's get out there and freaking bomb some rapids and portage endlessly in the hammering rain and black flies. Woohoo! Now uh, we've come up to an unmarked rapid here on the Natashquan East Branch. I look at the map, no contour lines crossing it, but you know, downriver a little bit from this is a waterfall and about a three or four kilometer rapid. So we just wanna make sure we're not there. So I'm just gonna double check. So no marked rapids, making sure that we're not coming up to this waterfall. So let's run this thing. just bomb almost two kilometers actually three of continuous class one and twos terrifying but fun buck stood on the boat the entire time we like to call him our camera dog probably terrifying but the scary part is that this just keeps pushing to a waterfall so you got to stay on your toes So as we pull up in an eddy, maybe about 200 meters above the falls, we have no idea where these ancient Montagne Inu portage trails are. That's the only thing I can see there. So what we're gonna have to do is ferry across the river, pretty much at the brink of a waterfall. Death, guaranteed death if you go over that thing. So you point your bow up river, you paddle forwards hard, you point your bow towards the side of the bank that you want to go on and that sidewash should move you directly sideways across the river. One of the biggest things is how to ferry could save your butt. After uh, successfully front ferrying over um, on top of the falls, we found absolutely no trail. I waited and lined the boat up to the last eddy before the drop and now I'm just getting hammered with black flies. 
I gotta get my bug shirt on immediately here. Oh, oh my God, thank you. This is a great bug jacket. It's made by the original bug shirt company. It's about the best bug shirt you could possibly buy. I've had mine on all day. Ending, at least a mile long portage, absolutely no trail. I'm gonna mark a waypoint on our exact location here and it'll show a straight line of how to get back to our stuff so no looking for our crap while we're getting hammered by black flies. One of the most horrific portages ever. We did it. You have any words, Tori? Wanna go home? To cap off this horrible thing, we have to camp in a, the pretty much the worst possible spot. On the map, it shows three kilometers of continuous rapids after this in a canyon and there's nowhere to camp for at least another kilometer and a half, two kilometers, which means we'd be paddling in the dark. It's not the time to push on. Stay safe out there on the river, people.